Good afternoon, Marie News Media TV family. Welcome back to the channel for another news update for January 5, 2024. And in the news this afternoon, Manchester man wanted for attempted murder of his ex-girlfriend. A 30-year-old man is being sought by the Manchester police for the attempted murder of his ex-girlfriend on Caledonia Road in the parish on December 27. He is Romain Biggs of Top Hill District, Kendall, Manchester. The police say about 10 p.m. the woman was at work when she was pounced upon by Biggs, who was armed with a machete. He allegedly used the machete to chop her several times before escaping. The police were alerted and she was taken to hospital, where she was admitted in serious condition. The Mandeville police are urging Biggs to turn himself in immediately. Meanwhile, the police are asking anyone with information that can assist them with their investigations to contact them at 876-962-2832, Police 119 Emergency Number, Crime Stop at 311, the NIB tip line at 811, or the nearest the police station. Man charged for multi-million dollar robbery of St. Anne Furniture Store. The police have charged a man in connection with a multi-million dollar robbery of a furniture store in Draxall, St. Anne. Charged with a larceny and a shop breaking is 45 Street in Salem in the parish. The police report that on Friday, October 27, the complainant securely locked up his place of business and went home. The following morning, when he returned to his business place, he discovered that culprits had gained access to the building, ransacked the store, and stole a safe that contained $8 million in cash, a check valued at U.S. $3,480, checks valued at $3,649,879, and 40 assorted cell phones valued at $820,000. The CCTV was then viewed, and Davy was seen with another man removing the items. He was charged after an interview. His court date is being finalized. Man Ras captured in St. Catherine 47-year-old Nigel Bailey, otherwise called Mad Ras, of Hopel District, Hanover, who was wanted for several offenses, including wounding with intent, was apprehended during an operation in St. Catherine on Thursday. The Spanish town police say Bailey, who was named on the Jamaica Constabulary Forces Wanted Wednesday's campaign, was arrested in Top Mountain, Gitton Town, about 1 p.m. He was reportedly among several persons captured when soldiers swooped down on a section of the Kitson Town community. The police say a Smith and Wesson pistol fitted with a magazine containing 15 rounds of ammunition was seized during the incident. Another 39 rounds of ammunition were found in his possession. Bailey was reportedly wanted in relation to an incident in St. James. The police are reminding members of the public that it is an offense to harbor criminals and the persons found in breach will be arrested and charged. Anyone with information in relation to guns, gangs, or gunmen can contact a crime stop at the 311 police 119 emergency number or the nearest the police station. A woman created a stir in the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday when she hurled a profanity at the judge who denied her bail. Melrose Bremer is before the court because she allegedly attempted to assault a family court judge and brandished a knife at a police officer in open court. The 52-year-old shopkeeper has been charged with disorderly conduct, assault at a common law, and the possession of an offensive weapon. Judge Keisha Grant Price presided over the matter on Wednesday. The court was informed that the file was still incomplete because the Crown is awaiting a statement from the judge who is the complainant in the case. Meanwhile, Bremer's lawyer Albert Morgan filed a bail application stating that his client was a suitable candidate for bail. She has no intention to stay away from her trial and will abide by the conditions required by the court. It was never the intention of Ms. Bremer to commit any assault on the learned judge, said Morgan. The prosecution did not object to bail but requested that conditions be imposed. Judge Grant Price, however, was not inclined to grant her bail and rejected the lawyer's application, stating that Bremer is unlikely to appear for her trial. The judge's decision did not sit well with Bremer, who became agitated and yelled at the judge expletives, Go, you mother. 
Her outburst and abusive words directed that the judge shocked the lawyers, police officers, clerk of court and others in the courtroom. Grand Price sat quietly, staring at Abemra before saying, You could be charged with contempt of court, but I will forgive you this time. I will remand you in custody until Monday, January 8, when I think you will calm down. Burma was defiant. They took away my child, so do whatever you want to do, she told the judge before being led away to the holding area. Her attack on the family court judge and the police allegedly occurred on December 6, when Burma went before that court in relation to a case involving her 11-year-old child who is said to be in need of care and protection. The child has also been diagnosed with Down syndrome, which may cause delays in mental and physical development, as well as an increased risk for health problems. According to court documents, Bremer became agitated after the judge decided to place her child in state custody. She allegedly attempted to hit the judge with a chair. Bremer was restrained by a police officer. However, as she walked along a passage leading to the holding area while being taken into custody, she drew a knife that she had hidden among a stock of boxes containing court documents. She allegedly held up the knife and told the officer, You are an idiot. Look how easy I could have killed you. She was arrested and charged. Burma was also charged with assault and malicious destruction of property in connection with an incident on October 1, 2022. In that incident, she is accused of assaulting her common-law spouse and smashing three mirrors in his home with a piece of iron pipe. During the hearing on Wednesday, the complainant stated that he was no longer interested in pursuing the case and the prosecution offered no evidence against the Bremer. Man blames a wrong company for legal woes. A man who admitted to applying for two passports and was fined $100,000 for presenting false information on his passport application has blamed the others for leading him astray. He fell prey, he told the judge, to the wrong company. Robert Lewis pleaded guilty to making a false declaration when he appeared before the St. James Parish Court on Wednesday. According to court documents, Lewis went to the Passport Immigration and Citizenship Agency in December 2023 to renew his Jamaican passport. During the process, it was discovered that a passport in the name Lloyd Omar Lewis was issued to him on September 5, 2006. It was never used. What triggered you to apply for a false passport? Presiding Judge Keisha Grant Price asked the accused man after the allegations were outlined. I was triggered by the wrong company. I had no reason at all, said Lewis. In passing sentence, Judge Grant Price ordered Lewis to pay the fine or spend 30 days in jail. One woman at the center of assault on 14-year-old breaks silence. One of the women at the center of assault of the 14-year-old girl in Clarendon has broken her silence. The woman is not among the seven people, including four minors, charged with unlawful wounding and assault occasioning actual bodily harm. But her mother is among those charged and is to appear in court next week. The 19-year-old woman, during an interview with the news on Thursday, dismissed the allegations that she was involved in a love triangle with the teen's mother and the mother's boyfriend, a member of the JDF. The woman, who did not want to give her name, admitted that her relationship with the soldier ended more than a year ago. I sit down for a Sunday and watch him at the live for me. I'm going to say nothing about it. I'm going to just take it easy. It I get too far because she'll lie. And she doesn't need to lie. Well, in terms of the fight, though. I never there. Yeah. Oh. I never there. When, when I come, if I don't miss everybody, I get about the dress up. In terms of the fight, they can't just sit to one side of the story. You get me? Because none of them not talking to you.